But every once in a while, you do see a uh, semi-high-end box make its way into the retail shops like Target and Walmart. And this is it, Panini Playoff Contenders Football for 2011, a retail or blaster box. Just five packs per box and five cards per pack. So only 25 cards coming out of here, but uh, it does guarantee one autograph card per box so you know what you're going into here with uh, with this product it's not going to be a surprise you know you're not going to wonder whether you're going to get an autograph uh, there's going to be one in here now it may not be of great quality or it uh, could be a surprise who knows we've already jumped in here and kind of cheating a little bit we've opened the box and slit the ends of the packs just to keep things moving along here keep this as short as possible because that's what you really want to see is what's inside and these have been out for a little while at the hobby shops they're running uh uh, with the 24 pack per box uh, count there and, and four autographs, uh, they've been running about 100, and I guess about 140 or 145 dollars a box, from what I understand. So, take a look here. They have gone to the horizontal format, which uh, looks pretty good. Nice photography here, and a little bit of team history on the front. A little hard to read the uh, player name there, though. Uh, there's Danny Amendola, who's who that is. There's Hakeem Nix, the Giants, and. 49ers draft class 2011. Got two guys on there. And there is Sidney Rice and Tony Romo in pack one. Again, with the blaster boxes, just five cards and five packs per box. And these are going for 30 bucks at Target, which is where we pick this one up. Marcus Colston, Willis McGahee, uh, Shane Vereen, rookie roll call, Steve Smith, and Noshawn Moreno. So, two down, still waiting for the autograph. Ryan Fitzpatrick, there's Michael Vick. Legendary contenders, that's a Larry Zonka from early 70s uh, days with the Dolphins. There's Calvin Johnson, pretty good looking card there. Not sure what to think about the horizontal design here, I kind of like it, but... It's a little different, a little hard to get used to, and uh, of course the plastic sheets, you got to turn them the other way <laughs> to get a look if that's where you're going to put your cards. Down to two packs here, Josh Freeman, Matt Castle. There is a Super Bowl 45 uh, uh, Super Bowl tickets card of Greg Jennings. That is card number two. Des Bryant and Tom Brady. So some pretty good players come out of these packs, and hopefully there's an autograph in this last last pack here. There's Greg Jennings, the actual card. We're in the throwback, number 85. And there we got Matt Schaub. And there is our autograph, and it's J.J. Watt, who had a very good rookie year uh, out of Wisconsin and uh, played at uh, for the Houston Texans. Uh, outstanding rookie. So not a bad, uh, you know, it is a sticker autograph, unfortunately, but... Uh, not a bad pull there. J.J. Uh, Watt has a long career ahead of him, so I'm fairly happy with that one. And a guy named Sue and Andre Johnson. So there you go, 25 cards. You do get the one autograph. If autographs are your thing, uh, this is probably something you might want to consider. The, the cards are pretty nice. Uh, there you get a look at some of the backs. Uh, and if you need a football fix, uh, these are you know usually available in your hobby shops and then, as we said, also with the blaster boxes at Target. The uh, hobby shop version, uh, probably a little bit better of a deal uh, based on what you get out of it here with these. You're probably only just going to get the one autograph card and then a lot of base cards, but you never know. Uh, at 30 bucks, at least it's a little cheaper than going all out at 140 bucks or so per box. That's it.